right on your um, plot collection card. Okay? Now, Carl's doing a good idea, too. You know, I mean, these days with GIS, I mean, if you had your GPS here with a with a photograph that's geo-referenced, or just do this and you know where you are, you know, we can make hot links to these. So if you ever were call up your GIS of all your plots, you just click on it and up would come that image. I think, too, when you take a photo, the GIS, the azimuth is on it. Yeah, yeah. Really? It doesn't? Yeah, you got to do it Maybe well, we do have a little bit of an issue because we are a little covered, aren't we, with our snow? So be yeah, it's going to be hard to see the one. Okay. Um, so, we have some things to measure, right? we got to measure the particle counts, the intercepts for ones, tens, hundreds. we got to actually physically measure the diameters for the greater than threes. We have to do our fuel bed depths, each of the first one foot, three one foot slices. And we also have to do duff depth at one foot and four, four foot out from the, from the plot center. So, um, you see, if you started right now digging your duff out, you're going to screw up all your fines and stuff to measure. So you usually start with your particle count. Uh, so we said we were going to go out six feet, right? Yeah. So it's got to cross the plane. So it's got to cross the plane here. I've got a piece here. It's hard to see some of these, but I do have one here. That's a zero to a quarter, right? Has anybody got their go-no-go -no -go gauge? Yeah, sure. You can check right there and see. Does anybody see anything else here? No. What's big. this? This one's down. It's too big? Yep. Really? That one's too big, man. That one doesn't cut the mustard, huh? And it, and it is where it crosses the plane, so as close as you can get. That one, that one doesn't, and that's still, that's still connected. See that? See that? Yeah. See that's still connected, but it's dead. It's not down. It's not down. Yeah, it's dead, but it's not down. And there, he's got something that's pretty good size, huh? Yeah, that's going to be a. No, yeah, it's, it's okay. So let's just look for the one. So that one doesn't fit in there, huh? All right. We, we believe well, our guy. Push it down. No, no, no. Yeah, we're fine. <laughs> so we got to go out to six feet. So here's the end of our six feet. So we're kind of looking if we've got anything here. This is kind of just the negative of being out here. Oh, pardon me. Sorry. <laughs> that was the one. Wait, is that one? No, no that's, that's, a a that's a needle. Nothing inside there. So it looks like we got zero. Bummer. Bummer. Well, that's the way the randomness goes. That's the way the randomness goes. Unless you make it so it's not random. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you add a little bias. I just want you to see what only two counts does. Okay? It don't fit. Yeah, it does. <laughs> 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 we got two. <laughs> See that? There you go. Now we're going to do the, the 10 hours. We go back to the start. We come out six feet. And how many did you have? Well, you know, you had one. You had, was this one? Yeah. Two. Didn't you have another one in here somewhere? This one. Yeah, three. Three. And that's it. Just three. Three, three 10 hours. But now you can see if you were actually in slash, if you were in a recent, some sort of cut, yeah. that's why you'd be three feet instead of six feet. Because you're going to capture what's going on. You don't need to be six feet. Okay? So now what do we do? Hundreds. Hundreds for 12 feet. Okay? So what do you got? Is this one 100 here? Where it crosses? Does it even cross? No. Any of these? No, nope, they're all too big. There's 11 feet. So, nope, that one's too small, right? So how about these under here? See, those are all too small. These are all too small, right? Nope. There's one. Nope, those are all too small, aren't they? Yep. Yeah, those are some good 10 hours, though. If we would have been out 12, we would have had quite a few 10 hours. Because, see, we've got stuff like that. So I was hoping we would capture some of that here. We just, luck of the draw, right? Yeah. See how, what happens with sampling? 
So you got it. You could think to yourself, it, it, is this representative of what's going on out there? It's pretty discontinuous. But I don't know. Ours is pretty bare. It just happened to be pretty bare right here at the start. That's that's a collection day. That's why you get that variability. That's why you have error. Remember, error doesn't mean you're you're a jerk or you're bad. It just means you're uncertain. You know, because there's a lot of variability. You're not really certain about. You've got a good measure, right? Right? But you know. Okay, you're not a knob, right? Okay, now what do we do? We got the ones and tens, hundreds. Now the thousands. So he's got a thousand right here where he crosses. He's going to measure that thing. And what do you do with a thousand? You got to get the actual diameter. At the place or at the spot. At the place it crosses. So down there on the bottom of your collection sheet, make sure you say plot number one because not all your plots are going to have a greater than three. And then. <laughs> yeah, I would just use this. Go for it. Just let it lay down there, Lino, again, where it was. And you can just, this is where they said avoid the parallax, right? So don't look across here. So look straight down on that side and get over. That's a four inch ponderosa pine. Is it rotten or is it? It's good. It's good. A four inch pondo. Is that okay? That one there is not a thousand, right? That one right there, that's still only, that's a hundred, right? Okay. Anything else out there, Robert? You get about a four? Exactly. All right. The counter. That's it? No more. So did everybody get that? Just that one. You had one pondo that was four inches. Okay? Yeah, let's put that one over there. You're going to be surprised if you add another piece, how much more weight in that big stuff. It adds. Yeah, it adds in a hurry. Okay, we good on that? So far, so good? Pretty straightforward. It's really not bad if there's not many counts. <laughs> now we got to go back down and we probably want to do our fuel bed down, right? First, before we start tearing it all up. So what we're we supposed to be doing with our fuel bed depths? First, three one-foot slices. Yes. You find it to the nearest what? Tenth of an inch? Yeah. Okay. To the nearest inch. Here's where we can use your thing again. Okay, so first one foot slice right here. We're looking for the tallest, highest particle height, preferably 10, but I say, God, if there's no 10, if there's only a, a one hour, I put that in there so I know there's some depth. There's nothing here, right? There, oh, wait a minute. What was this one? This was a 10, wasn't it? Do we get this one, Lino? Do we get this one? That was a, that was at a 10 or a 100 hour. I mean, excuse me, a 1 or a 10 hour. That was that first one that wasn't big enough, right? Uh, it works. So we did. That's a one hour. We didn't have that. Yep. Four. Crikey! <laughs> so we got four the of snow, them. The snow camo. The snow, snow camo. So I'm going down here to to well here I've got mineral soil, but I'm just going to go to the the top of the duff layer, which is about the same. So I'm saying if I'm measuring the closest inch. I'm going to give that an inch, since there is something there. My second one foot slice here, there's one right there that it's about the same. Yeah, it's, you know, a little over three quarters of an inch, so I'm going to give it an inch. This last one over here is sticking up a little higher, but I kind of did that, didn't I? Yeah. Stuck it up on the other. But see, here's how, see how you can get a high particle height? Yeah. Something sticking up like that. So if we were measuring it where it crosses, it crosses at... Two inches. See that? But if you would have had a branch like sitting up here like this, right? Was that and that was just behind the three three foot line, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. If it was here, you wouldn't do it. But if you had a branch sitting up here and this was sticking clear up here, so I measured two feet of fuel bed depth. You see how that doesn't work very good for the bulk density. <laughs> it, it it makes it way too airy. That's why they came up with that 0.638 times the high particle height. It gives you a little better oh. estimation of what I think. For, as far as the compaction, that's what it uses the bulk depth for. But it's based on the high particle height. Does that make sense there? See that, how that would work? So what do we have? Two inches? Yep. Two inches for the third foot slice. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. 
Hey, hey. Keep this. Now. Oh, did you guys bring the shovels? <laughs> Both of them? This will work a little better. So now is where you got to be a little more careful. So I'm going to, at one foot, I'm going to try to pull away. Because <laughs> I don't want to go back and forth and compress, right? So I'm trying to just pull away so that I can expose what's going on there. Now, we're probably going to have a heck of a lot here because there's... Oops, excuse me. Right? Sure, right. Okay. We don't have a heck of a lot. <laughs> yeah. So, somebody's got to get down there, and they got to look where the litter stops. So, where it looks like it's starting to decompose, down to where it looks, you can't tell what it is anymore, right? So, it's mineral soil. So, you just got to get your, you got your measuring stick? Absolutely. Jimmy. Three tenths. Right down to point three. Okay, and then we're gonna do what we said at four feet. So we kind of got to be careful here with this. So I'm gonna do it from this side here. Is that okay? Because we got that bush. Somebody want to pull that bush out of the way for me? And that. What do you do? Right at the beginning. You want to four feet? At one and four. How's that? Is that good? Now this is why, again, I say, looking at the photos, and it says it's X deep. Really? <laughs> I didn't know that. Well, it'll say it's got some depth. That's what I'm saying. How do you know it was winning up? Oh, there you go. See, how do you do that? I paid him a dollar to ask her. Two tenths. Two tenths again. Okay, those are our two fuel bed depths. Do we have everything? Slope. 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 What do you say on slope? Somebody got a Clino? Yeah. Somebody, go, somebody <laughs> to walk up. So, okay, who doesn't know how to run a Clino? Okay. I don't. Okay. Let's get, um, let's get together with someone on your crew. Okay. So that you each have a Clino. Do you each have a Clino? I just want to. No, you don't have to run back and get I got one. Whose team are you on? Does he have a Clino? Does he have a Clino? One of those guys have a Clino. Both of those guys have one. Do you have one? No. Hey, Robert. We thought we just needed one for this. Okay, I got you. Here, let me see. Now, the way you, when you're going to be working with somebody, the first thing you want to do is get on a level site and find where zero is. Because if you're working with, I know I got one back here somewhere. If you're working with somebody really tall, right? Mm -hmm. All right. If all else fails. Uh, uh. 